Hey, hey, we officially have made it. Um, I have better late than never. I feel like each week I'm getting challenged in new areas with really getting comfortable with getting the workshops and the Q and a set up. I had to switch from the desktop to the laptop. So I think the good news is I'm getting prepared for any situation really, um, is what's happening. <laughs> so deep breath, everybody. But thank you all for joining. Um, let me see. I'm using the wrong mouse here. This is funny. Funny, funny, funny. Okay. All right. Very good. So want to do a quick introduction so you know who I am before I get started. And then I will be sharing my Canva PowerPoint screen. So really excited. Um, if you have any questions, drop it in the chat, no matter which platform you're on, you are more than welcome to do that. I do have Instagram live going on here. So oops, we're going sideways. So how cool. So that's kind of like a behind the scenes slash Q and a, but if you want to check out any sort of presentation for the workshop today, which is three ways to really um, do research on companies and opportunities you might be interested in that align with your career goals, this is the place to be. So you're going to want to check out the PowerPoint presentation that I have on Facebook and LinkedIn. And I believe YouTube needed to be reconnected. So, oh, no, actually it is connected. So we're doing well. So quick little introduction. I'm Dr. Jenna Vargas. I go by Jenna. Um, I am creating and providing an educational podcast and live workshop to really empower and equip high-performing expert consultants, entrepreneurs, everyday professionals, and executive leaders with ADHD um, to really reach their full potential and show up as their best selves in the pursuit of earning six to seven figures. So depending on your career goals and employment, status, this is the spot to be to really hone in on what is that next direction for what you're looking to do next and how do we really get there in the process. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to share my screen. So bear with me here a sec. And again, if you have any questions, I hope everyone's having a great day and a great week. My family and I are just getting over a stomach bug. Thankfully it came and went, it felt like within 24 hours or so, but it just was a lot to bear with for sure. The good news is we have plenty of time today and we'll probably get through the presentation and the Q and a beyond like before 3 PM. So, all right. So I am going to present now. It should let me do the correct one. There we go. Woohoo! Every week it's been a different, I'm pretty tech savvy, but every week it's been something new and I definitely jumped from like a client call over. So giving myself a, a moment of grace and, and some time here. All right. So first things first, today's workshop, I'm doing workshops once a month and going to repurpose the content to help others in transition with their transformation. Um, but my goal with this is really to help you all transform and transition your careers, right? So what does that look like with three ways to research companies and role opportunities to make sure it's in alignment with our career goals and that vision forward. Okay. So here's kind of an overview of what we're going to focus on today. So we'll have intro, kind of a breakdown of what those three ways to research, what the process looks like, the overall conclusion and the value add, and then next steps and contact info. So that's kind of the short and sweet. Quick little introduction. Um, so I'm Jenna Vargas. As you know, I'm based here in the Tampa Bay market. Mom of three, soon to be four. Exciting. Um, we're due in June. So yay. And we're having um, a third baby boy. So we're excited about that. We have one daughter and three, three sweet boys. Um, so I've been cultivating my career as an author, branding expert, content creator, and career and life coach. And I've also worked as an executive um, coach as well. And I've been in the HR talent acquisition world for over 15 years. So really understanding behind the scenes what it is like to really be able to help you all navigate that career um, journey, whether you are a W-2 employee at any sort of level or a 1099 contract consultant um, independently. Okay. So I've really, over the years, I've really honed my expertise and really focusing my business on being more creative, innovative, and strategic um, versus kind of what I was doing before was a little bit more monotonous, a little more administrative than I would have liked and really not opt optimizing my, my, um, 
my impact and optimizing my value add of what I could do and, and that potential of reaching and helping others transform their lives. So I really was looking for a rewarding career with the evolution of my business. And as you know, with any business, you continue to kind of transition and, and organically evolve the business. So I think that's exciting. Um, there's a picture of my family there. Um, we recently took some, some nice photos, which was, ex was enjoyable for memories. Um, as far as a little overview, I'm passionate about helping people like yourself advance, pivot, or transition your career. I work with executive C-suite to entrepreneurs to really help them reflect on where they're going, why, and how to get there step-by-step -step in an easy, streamlined kind of framework or process. Many of my clients have been able to transition within about 45 to 60 days and also increase their opportunities and make more money. So I have gotten, with my NPS survey feedbacks, I have heard from clients a lot more at the executive leadership level that they have increased their salary by um, 25,000 to 50,000 per year, which is, which is a great, great number for sure. And then let's see what else I talked about monthly. We're doing monthly workshops and once a month Q and a hashtag ask Dr. Jenna, all things, career transitions and such. And my goal this year is to make a larger impact and help um, serve a larger audience. And I'm also challenging myself to really automate and create more streamlined processes and systems um, to really optimize, to be able to scale the profit profitability and reach and really serve a larger audience. Okay. All right. So let's take a look here. All right. So little introduction for those of you who may not know who I am, um, in 2022, I completed my doctoral program in HR management. So my goal is to really maximize my full potential. And I want to help provide resources to humans like yourself to help transform your life um, as it has for mine. So I kind of give you an overview of the importance of career is a big piece of what we do in our transition, but it really impacts and, and affects all areas. This is called like the whole life um, there's almost like a whole life, eight different sectors. So career is one of those, but keeping in mind all the other areas are so important for us to kind of navigate and think about during a career transition. So what, how, and why? So the, the big three, three top line items when it comes to research um, and the companies that we're, we're looking at, the job search process can be daunting and overwhelming. And as we know, it's very time consuming, but it really doesn't have to be. With a very strategic and the right approach, job seekers like yourself can get the most out of their time and energy by researching companies that are a good fit before ever submitting applications. So here's a how to kind of focus on how you're going to save time in the process and in the long run. The goal is for you to kind of simplify and understand what is the focus on the job search before you even get started, right? So reaching out to your network once you're ready to kind of navigate, LinkedIn is a fantastic resource. Thinking about who are the different mentors, friends, family, connections, you know, the seven degrees of connection or separation, um, who might be able to provide a potential uh, employee referral. Think outside the box of how can we start gaining more visibility and networking with the right people at these companies, right? So use online resources. So the next step would be using LinkedIn job boards. There's association like group boards different ways to connect with like-minded individuals that might be a great opportunity for you for your, to land your next opportunity. And then lastly, Glassdoor has great company reviews. A few sections I really like is like a company overview about public or private. How large is the company? Um, what else is important? Interview style. How long is the interview? What kind of style is it? Panel, individual, group. Um, the next thing might be, let's say, let me open this up here. The next thing would be they have a great with benefits. So depending on what you're looking for, you can see if there's alignment in what the company is providing for you as well. Is it a people centric company? Are they really people focused or, or not as much? And then in Glassdoor, you probably have noticed if you have a free account, there are current employees and previous employees. So it's going to be a mishmash, just like on Yelp of the type of reviews that are provided, but kind of just looking through that to see the common themes and trends, um, on, on benefits, on the overview, on what else is there? The benefits interviews overview is probably my favorite versus I know they have like a salary section. I use a different resource and they have salary jobs. Some of the jobs might be a little more stale or outdated. So I'm just a little more sensitive. I like LinkedIn has more of those active jobs. Let me see if there was anything else here. Definitely the research phase of this process is so important, kind of doing that up front versus 
just applying. I mean, once the company reaches out to you and you start scheduling interviews, you can do a little more digging and research and homework. Um, but definitely it's good to kind of have your target in advance. So we're getting hyper-focused on the companies that we're going after and, and the approach that we're looking at. So let's keep moving. Just make sure we didn't miss any comments. All right. So the process. So this piece, I know we covered this previously, but this, I want to remind you the importance of really defining our, our vision forward. So if you want to get out a notebook or some sort of a, um, a journal, notebook, paper and pen is good. Um, so really defining our vision forward. What are our top priorities? What are we looking for in the next company or opportunity to make sure that we're in alignment when we have conversation, when we look at job descriptions? Really, what are we looking for? Just like when you're looking for a mate or a, do people even say mate anymore? When they're looking for a partner. What is going to be, what are those top values or top priorities that we want to find alignment in? And I've done a blog or a podcast before about that because it's so important. There is such similarity in kind of matchmaking um, between a company and a future employee or contractor compared to compatibility on let's say dating sites, um, industries start by selecting two to three industries. I do have some different resources for like the U S um, labor. I forget what it's called. Something in bureau where it has a list of all the different industries. You can kind of go through that and see if you're trying to pivot out from your industry, where else you might want to go. I know there's certain industries that are like the hot industries right now. And definitely one we've learned from the pandemic of the industries that kind of stay away from or the ones that are not more of a essential type of industries. And then company size, this is helpful to kind of think about if you haven't had exposure, there are difference, differences between startup companies, small, medium, and large. Um, so as an example, small to medium, I'm sorry, startup to small companies are going to be, you're going to wear a lot more hats, have a lot more like a fast pace. There might be like an entrepreneurial feel. You might even have an opportunity to like innovate, have a seat at the table for, for, um, you know, innovative ideas and creative solutions versus like mid to large companies. You're kind of more so working in your given, uh, group or area it might feel like a smaller co company culture in your division or group, but mid to medium to large companies are going to be a little more established, typically have more process and systems in place and technology integrations. Um, so it just really depends. And typically it's, it's divided out by like zero to 500 employees might be like a startup. Then it could be public private looking to go public. Then you have like small company, which was maybe let's say uh 750 or a thousand employees to 2,500 or 5,000. And then mid size is like 5,000 to 7,500 large is like 10,000 to 20,000 plus. So there is a way to kind of break that out when you're, when you're doing the research and company culture is also what is our alignment with shared values and attitudes and goals, practices, and values. So what are we aligned on? So just like anything else, you want to make sure that there's compatibility with the companies you're looking at, and you're going to get that through online research and reviews um, conversations with recruiters and hiring managers and team members, prospective teams. And then the last piece here for an overview on the process is really job and salary. So job level, job title, job description, and salary per job title. There's always a dollar sign that goes with that job title. And then in the job description, it kind of defines what is needed for that op specific opportunity. So we'll get into that here shortly. So this is kind of an overview of what I was describing with our priorities. So start by defining your top three priorities for your next company and your next role. So this is helpful so that we're being proactive in the driver's seat versus more reactive. Okay. Um, let's take a look here. So industries really goes over. Um, these are a variety that you may or may not have thought of. And I guess the IT technology is next to computer. So that is at least covered. So that's good news. But this helps you think outside the box. If you're like, hey, I don't know what would be transferable or relative or important to kind of look at. This is helpful as a tool. This is just a short list, but there are many others as well. And then company size, like I said, kind of the breakdown here of ballpark of where you've been, where you're looking to go. Um, and kind of the overview of the differences between a startup, a small, medium, and large size company. So this is helpful, again, whether you're a W-2 or a 1099, what type of companies or what types of um, groups are we trying to reach? And this is helpful, just having clarity on where we're headed next. Company culture, again, this is 
company culture is described in so many different ways. And it's important that we understand the value of company culture and what makes what's important to us as individuals, right? So how things get done around the workplace, it all sums up in the formal and informal processes and behaviors to create an experience for employees and, and customers. So keeping in mind, some people might value employee recognition or teamwork, collaboration, working autonomously. This might even just be as simple as, you know, I'm looking for something remote or hybrid versus on-site um, and many people now that I talk to are open to travel. If there is some flexibility with like remote, um, remote hybrid type of work is a majority of people that come to me, my clients are looking for typically remote and hybrid is, is a priority for sure. And this is helpful because once you have clarity of what you're looking for, you could better articulate and communicate that to recruiters, hiring managers, and team members, prospective team members, um, because if you don't know what you're looking for, it's going to be hard to find and attract them. And then with the job, thinking about your role, decide if you're planning to advance, pivot, or transition. Are we looking for individual contributor or a leadership opportunity or to provide an expertise, right? So we're going to look at a job description in a moment, but thinking about the types of roles, the job level, and what that advancement looks like in your career path, and then also job title. So these days, many people could care less about like uh, advancing the, what the, the corporate ladder. Um, they really are looking to make an impact is the underlining kind of commonality between a lot of the clients that I speak with and, and prospective clients. So thinking in the next two years, what do I want to be doing in the next five years, 10 years, like what does that look like? Do I eventually want to be doing consulting or do I want to stay with the kind of the stability and the security of a corporate job and maybe consider having a side business for another stream of income? So kind of thinking about what does that vision look like? What's next for me in my career is so important. And here, I know I provided this before, but this is so helpful. Um, let me my um, tripod's going sideways. The salary offered is directly related to the level and impact. What is our value add to an organization? And um, finance teams and, and groups are able to create almost like a, I've worked with them before with a level comp plan. So depending on your job title, your impact, and compensation is very much aligned. There's always a dollar sign for those job titles and job descriptions. So it's important to you to make sure there's alignment in your interests, qualifications, and so forth to really make sure you're maximizing your input and output. So here you'll see kind of an overview. I made this, I thought it was pretty nifty. So with all my, my years of, of recruiting and, and comp and leveling really, so you can better understand like where you are, where are you looking to go and how to navigate that to become either a leader or an expert in your given field or area. Okay. So Next thing, I wanted to show you a breakdown. I know we talked a little bit about Glassdoor, but you could totally make a free account, which is awesome. So you can get more insights and information. The great thing with this is that you are able to do your research on these companies that you're really targeting and, and prioritizing. So I call this kind of like your dream list, right? So this is like your dream wish list of where would I love to work and doing research and looking at company career sites, as well as the LinkedIn um, job opportunities to make sure there's an alignment and a match. There is, I think the best outcomes are based on starting with research and data, doing the research, doing the homework, getting hyper-focused on what we're looking at so we can go out and find it versus, Hey, I saw something on LinkedIn looked pretty viable and, and going that way. There's just different approaches that could be a little more efficient and effective. So again, on Glassdoor, you make a free account. You'll be able to see a variety of things about the company and the organization, and about the reviews from current and previous employees. And that's gonna be so, so helpful for you as well. And then here, salary.com is knowing your worth, knowing your value on the market and making sure the opportunities that we're looking at and going for are aligned with your target salary expectation, market research. And this also helps with your confidence. I was just talking to another client of like your confidence and level of understanding so that you can ask for, for what your value add is and not feel like shameful or feel embarrassed or feel like you're over overshooting, right? So I always look at United States um, compensation versus just in your geographical location. And I think that is so helpful in the process as well. All right, so let's take a look. Real quick on this note, I did want to mention you can look at payscale.com and salary.com. Those are really good resources for free. LinkedIn used to have a really good resource, but now I think everything is through like their paid membership, um, which is also another option, but they have 
LinkedIn, I love they have really good um, quality data across levels, positions, and industries and geographic locations and really distilled down. But some free resources are salary.com and payscale.com. And then here I just pulled in a quick job description to kind of show you what I look at when I pull up a job description. So short and sweet here, I always go down the competencies or or, um, qualifications is also what it's called. So looking at, do I have at least this many years of experience in this given area? And emphasizing that on your personal brand and what your how you're showing up on level of competency. I would say definitely like languages, which is more of the technology side, having a technology section and really emphasizing that. I put everything in um, alphabetized is so important. Here they're asking, let's say for JavaScript or API, PHP. So really making sure what a company is looking for, we're responding and saying, hey, yes, I do have that experience and really simplifying that in our personal brand and in our resume. And, and uh, however, we're kind of communicating, articulating that. Then I go up to responsibilities and making sure that I'm really synthesizing this information throughout my personal brand and my resume and content. And also if you have a cover letter or a LinkedIn optimized profile or a website, really making sure that you're showing up as either a leader or an expert in your given area, that's really going to help make, make sure that you stand out. Um, other than that, those are probably the key highlights. And typically there's a job summary or maybe like about the company and the culture. That's also really valuable to, to look at. So in conclusion, um, thank you so much for taking the time. It's so important again, that we do that upfront research about companies and, and role opportunities and applying really the essentials of what's going to be the most effective and efficient process from where I am to where I'm looking to go next and how much of that is relative experience and skills versus transferable. Like we talked about in recap and using online resources like LinkedIn, Glassdoor and customer reviews or employee reviews. And don't forget that informational interviews are always helpful when researching prospective employers as well. So don't forget this important tool when researching companies and opportunities. Let me know, drop any questions that you might have down below. Um, let me take a look here. All right. And as a next step action item, check out, we have a small group discovery zoom chat that happens anywhere from two to three times a week. I put in the, I'll put it in the chat box so you can click on that and register as well. Let me see private chat comments. That's where I'm supposed to put it. (laughs) Calendly.com. I'll wait a few minutes in case anybody hops on and has any question questions. Let me do this. Give me a sec here. When everyone starts coming home from um, school, (laughs) it gets a little noisy, but I will stay on in case anybody has any questions. Thank you for bearing with us. Every week it's been exciting and a different technology to work with and set up, but I'm feeling a little bit better and confident in the process and it's 240. So I'll give it another five minutes and See if anybody else has any questions about what we went through today. But again, the workshops that I'm bringing are definitely to help answer questions, give valuable resources to help you in your career transition. Um, if you have any ideas or recommendations for topics, please let me know. I would love to hear from you. Love to provide any guidance that, that I possibly can um, and just show up more than I did last year, (laughs) at least till I have the baby. And then I need a moment of enjoying the baby time. And then I'll be back at it, but really excited to, to be able to launch, um, this year I'll be launching my podcast, the Dr. Jenna Vargas podcast. And a lot of the content I'm trying to really learn how to simplify and streamline, um, through these conversations and questions that I get from you all to help you on your journey as well. So definitely feel free to reach out. Let me know. That'll be exciting. More value for you all in the process. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Let me know. Um, The best way to communicate, you can DM me, you can comment on social, or you can send out um, an email to hello at jennavargas.com. And I will answer hopefully within 72 hours is the goal. Um, but I hope you have a great rest of your week. Thanks so much for joining and I will see you back here. So stay tuned for our next workshop and Q and a, Hey everyone. Thanks so much for joining me. I'm your host, Jenna Vargas, a former recruiter turned podcast producer and lover of content production. 
and digital marketing as a way to connect and engage with other high performing experts about ways to live our best lives through our career and life transition. After all, we all experience adversity and we need a little bit of encouragement and inspiration to get through it.